Who am I? This is like a crazy deep question that I'd love to answer over a campfire. But still figuring it out every single day. How would people describe me? I think there would be a lot of differing opinions from people that didn't know me at all. Go down! <laughs> but right now I know my name's Craig Ingalls. I know I'm a runner. Running's been like this pretty weird slash funny thing that's happened in my life. I wouldn't call it love even in the slightest. I'm just kidding. I actually really love running. It's afforded me every freedom I've had. It's really hard to march to the beat of your own drum. There we go. There's a good one. I've always just been a little different. I, I don't know if it's like good or bad. In elementary school, I started taking ADHD medication. I was antisocial and uh, moody. Ended up uh, getting into some behavioral issues. I was just not happy. What's crazy is when I started running, when the medicine was worn off, I get to go out there and burn off that energy. Uh, I'd come home, I'd sleep because I was so worn out instead of like bouncing off the walls. All of a sudden, this one thing came into my life, running. From then on, it's been a fun ride. The actual act of running is still just as miserable for me as a professional runner as it is for anyone else going up a run. But that feeling you get when you suffer every day and like put all this work in and then you race and you get to see the result of all that, it makes it all worth it. Whew. All done. No more, please coach. <laughs> but sometimes it's really tough. I've probably repressed this memory, but in 2021, I'm getting ready for the trials. I don't think I've ever been that focused I was certain I was gonna make the Olympic team. I had perfect position. It's Engels leading the pack in the opening stages. And right before 500 meters, oh, I got boxed in. But I didn't want to panic because I've been there before. And with 400 to go, I was still boxed in. 300 to go, still boxed in. And I really wanted to be at the front of the race, making everyone else behind me hurt. With 200 meters to go, I got out of the gap and I was in third place, I think. And this is where my memory gets blurry. I do remember looking at those guys' backs. I hadn't had many goals in my career, but this was the only one I had. And it just was crumbling right in front of me on that last 100 meters. And the top three are heading to the games. I got fourth. It's a pretty like strange and bizarre time in my life that's kind of blurry. For a while, I was debating just retiring from running. I went back to school. I started coaching at Ole Miss. Once I was around all those people that were that excited about the sport, I was like, all right, this is what I fell in love with. After a few months, there was a part of me that was like, I need to be 100% all in. I could still do this. Oh, you're coming. I got a date. I got a date. I got a great point. I started realizing, for me, as a professional runner, I have to stay happy. To me, success is just hitting your goals, no matter how small it is or how big it is, and enjoying the process along the way. I want to. I don't trust this accuracy. I surround myself with a group of friends who, if I have a really good workout, and they're like, "Yo, man, that's awesome." I think I get a lot of my affirmation from external validation. <laughs> No, I need my hat on. It gets hard. Woo! That's a good DC. Moving on. Anyone with chips? Chips? Oh, I just bought chips. What do you think? Necessary or unnecessary? I love it. <laughs> I missed my opportunity to bring mine.
your overall? Yeah. We got time to go home. Damn it. <laughs> that was just so good. Are you guys easy? No, no, lock it up. Lock it up. See you guys there. Bye, guys. Our friend group has grown to like 20 people that all have some sort of tie to running. They're still serious about the sport, but they also like to have fun and enjoy the process. It's funny, you only get celebrated as a track and field athlete at these huge things that happen every couple of years. So it's, it's a tough sport. If your goal is to win an Olympic medal and you don't have fun the four years in between that, then there's no point in it to me. Down there. But this is the hike. We're gonna run the hike. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't remember. Was there in the hotel? Uh, Whoa! <laughs> Shit, <Jeez. Matt. laughs> He's gone. <laughs> I'm gonna be here and enjoy every minute of the whole journey. Odin! Odin, come here! Hopefully it like resonates with some kids growing up. They don't just have to go to practice and suffer and then go home. They can go have fun and enjoy their friends and life along the way, but still reach their goals. Oh my goodness, it's cold. Yeah. Your turn. But this was so cool, just getting everyone together and enjoying this beautiful scenery. We're all still alive. How'd you guys sleep? Oh, terrible. Great dudes. Morning. I'd really like to get back to the love of the sport. Sometimes when you succeed, it's relief. I mean, it's unreal. But I think we should all try and set goals. And when we hit them, we celebrate. My biggest goal is just to race and stay healthy, but obviously I'd like to win and do whatever it takes to be the best I can. <laughs> I want to make the Olympics. And I don't want to just make it to the Olympics. I want to be there in the final and know that I'm the fittest I've ever been and try and get a medal for my country.